Lyndon Sanders, I'm the Director and General Manager at Far Composites. We're a small uh, composites development company in the Nottingham area of the UK. This is an example of the kind of panel technology that we're working on at the moment. This is a lightweight panel that's designed, this is actually a bonnet inner, so it's designed to be glued underneath the bonnet. Our research and work with car makers is focused on bonding, gluing, carbon fibre panels like this into discrete parts of the car structure to give it little localised areas, that bit of extra strength that if you did it with metal would just weigh too much. By making cars lighter, if it moves, you make it lighter, you make it more efficient. And as we now start to see our parts, our technology appearing on real cars, we can multiply effectively the weight reduction we've achieved by the fuel efficiency of the vehicle, by the number of cars that they make. And, and we can actually start to do some maths about the impact we've had on CO2 emissions. I think KTN actually has always been part of our story since the business set up five years ago. We, we recognise that if we're not inventing tomorrow's solutions today, somebody else around the corner is and we'll be out of business tomorrow. So we have to be at the edge of the envelope, always pushing for the next development. We identified from the very beginning that KTM would, be, would, would need to be someone that we were in the loop with because they were going to provide us with networking opportunities to meet with similarly minded innovating companies out there. A big part of that benefit for us that we've got out of KTM is that, is that reach into the marketplace. Okay, so we've got some great ideas, terrific. But we still need to get out there and turn those into orders. We still need to get ourselves out in front of people. And when you're a small business with limited funds, that's hard. One of the things that Caitlin's brought to us is the ability to get us on stands, get us in front of people, get us to trade shows and support us in that. And that has helped us reach new markets and new people, which we would otherwise have struggled to do. We are five years old and we are now employing 19 people and they're, they're all good, high technology, high skilled jobs within the business. We've gone from zero to 19 people, we are profitable, we've paid off our startup debts and we've got a reasonable order book in front of us at the moment. What I might call the flash to bang time in the automotive industry, from the point that you have a part that someone looks at to the point that it appears on a car, is enormous. It's, it's, it's painfully long sometimes. And we're now starting to see some of our technology begin to get to points appearing on cars and that for me that's the real that's the real progress point that we're actually starting to physically make a difference